Hey friends, welcome. I'm George and I think I make the best traditional red cocktail sauce that I have ever tasted. Just got back from a trip to Vienna, visiting lifelong friends, and I was introduced to this. Priesbier Kren. It's a cranberry horseradish sauce, and seriously, I don't think I can ever go back to traditional cocktail sauce for shrimp again. This is a great universal sauce just as a spread on the bread or on a steak sandwich. It can even be a nice substitute for mayo. The key ingredients are cranberries and horseradish. You take that combination of cranberries and horseradish and you get a power-packed explosion of antioxidants that are sure to help keep those winter colds away, decrease inflammation, and also help that urinary tract operating at peak performance. Third ingredient is heavy cream, but I'm also gonna make a dairy-free rendition. I'm gonna make this sauce three ways, super fast and easy, next level gourmet, and dairy-free. The super fast version is yummy. Next level gourmet is the best tasting, just more time consuming to make. But if you need to be dairy-free, the recipe that substitutes heavy cream with coconut milk is really good. Just note that it does have a different taste than the other two. Not bad, but the coconut milk does lend itself to the flavor profile. As a bonus, here's my cocktail sauce recipe. Please don't ever buy ready-made cocktail sauce. This is miles better. Now, I like mine with a little extra kick, so there is quite a bit of horseradish in it, about a one-to-one -one ratio with the ketchup. If that's not your style, tone it back as you see fit. Maybe three parts ketchup to two parts horseradish. We're gonna get some organic heavy cream and we're gonna whip it up to thick peaks. Add about two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of jarred horseradish with a quarter cup or 60 milliliters of cranberry raisins, a quarter cup of warm water, and one half to three quarters teaspoons of Celtic sea salt. Blend that up and when you're done, just fold the mix into the whipped cream. Done. In the winter, I like to make a little extra cranberry sauce. I store it in the freezer, and you're gonna need some for the next version of this sauce. Now, I have tried many cranberry sauce recipes, and I keep gravitating back to the one on the bag. Really simple, equal parts water to sugar, one cup or 240 milliliters of each, bring it to a boil, and then add three cups or 720 milliliters of fresh cranberries to that. Bring it back up to a boil, and then just lower the flame to a simmer until all the cranberries burst. It's gonna take about a half hour or so. Way, way back, I made cranberry sauce with monk fruit sweetener. So if you're trying to avoid the sugar, a link to that will be available at the end of this video and a PDF recipe can be found on my website. Try to get your hands on some fresh horseradish. Keep this as far away from your nose as possible. It is very, very potent. Grate about two tablespoons or 30 milliliters, add two teaspoons or 10 milliliters of organic apple cider vinegar to that and add a pinch of salt. Basically, you're making fresh ground horseradish that will last in the refrigerator for at least a few months, so make a big batch if you want. If you do, I mean, you really should, just grate up the rest of that root. Measure it out and proportionally add more apple cider vinegar and salt. Like in recipe one, add two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of your freshly made horseradish, one half to three quarter teaspoons of Celtic sea salt, or about three and a half to seven milliliters, along with two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of your freshly made cold cranberry sauce to a half cup or 120 milliliters of whipped organic heavy cream. Not too bad to make. And you'll also have some wonderful homemade horseradish, ground up, and cranberry sauce. Both make outstanding accompaniments on their own to meat dishes, like steak and pork. Plus, a little tiny tip of the teaspoon of ground horseradish a day keeps the doctor away. Now, for the dairy-free version, you're gonna need some ice-cold, full-fat, organic coconut milk that needs to be 41 degrees Fahrenheit or five degrees Celsius. Basically, I open the can into a bowl and let the whole thing in the fridge overnight. With an emulsifying wand or a hand mixer, whip up that coconut milk until it resembles whipped cream. You may need to add a little bit of thickener to it, like a modified cornstarch or some expandex if yours is not getting thick. Take a half cup of it and your choice if you follow the steps for recipe one or two. Just substitute the heavy cream for the whipped coconut milk. A little fresh ground organic pepper is optional for all three of these recipes. Little pro tip with shrimp. Do not peel your shrimp before you cook them and steam them. Don't boil them. Dump ice on them until they are cold. And once they are cold, peel them. These wild coal shrimp are already deveined.
Now all three of these, really quite excellent. Actually, number one is not that bad, the easiest one to make. A little sweeter, little more commercial flavor, but still pretty good. The second one, which I think is still my favorite, uh, was not as sweet. You can doctor it up a little bit more by adding more cranberry sauce or more horseradish if you want, or more salt. It's not set in stone. Any one of these three that you go with, you'll be happy with. Here, you're gonna taste a little bit more coconut, but not bad. Now, before you serve these, you need to let them sit in the refrigerator for about an hour. If you think they need a little more horseradish or salt, maybe even more cranberries, go for it. I found that they tasted fine with the recipe that I had just given you. But when I added the shrimp to them, I noticed that it needed a little bit more horseradish. So I added a tablespoon or 15 milliliters of horseradish extra to each one of these. And I found the flavor to be perfect. What do you think? Give it a try and let me know in the comments. Now, however you choose to make any one of these three sauces, you're going to have really excellent sauce in your arsenal. And most likely you will go back to these sauces before you reach for cocktail sauce. I do love method two. For a slightly easier variation of method two, you can use jarred ground horseradish instead of fresh ground. But I think the fresh cranberry sauce really makes all the difference. Cooking is a lot more than just preparing a dish. It's more intimate than that. So from now on, my New Year's resolution is to give a little tip at the end of each video that will help take your experience in the kitchen to another level. So here's my tip today. How you feel while you're cooking will be translated to the taste of the food. If you feel rushed or distraught, your dish, whatever that dish is, will taste worse than if you feel good while you are making it. To get in the mood, a good mood, look at your ingredients. Take note of the colors. Take note of the scents. Feel the texture and taste as you go. That will get your mind off of whatever and more focused on the food in front of you. I love cooking with my favorite music in the background. I really hope that helps. Kindly share this video and give it a like. Only you can help grow my channel and I appreciate that and you as well. Cheers.